Tiger Tail Lagoon and Sand Dollar Island beach dredging and restoration project has been ongoing since November of last year. Today I'm excited to share with you the incredible progress that's been made. Witness the breathtaking aerial footage of the workers in action as they transform the beach and lagoon into a vibrant and healthy ecosystem. You'll see before and after footage of the area highlighting the remarkable impact and you won't believe how far it's come since it started. From restoring the natural beauty to creating a safe habitat for endangered species, this project is critical for the health of the ecosystem. So get ready to be impressed by the amazing progress made and see firsthand how it's positively impacting the environment here. Many people have questioned why a project of this size and complexity is needed and if it's worth the risk of damaging the natural habitat. The dredging is necessary for four primary reasons which are all meant to restore Sand Dollar Island and Tiger Tail Beach to the condition they were in before Hurricane Irma hit the area in 2017 and Ian hit in September of last year. The first is to open up the waterway between Hideaway Beach and Sand Dollar Island by removing the sand that's been growing there at an alarming rate and was moving toward the mainland. If left untouched, that sand would have had the devastating effect of choking off the channel entrance by Hideaway Beach on the Marco River side. As you can see from this view taken in early December of last year, the channel was almost closed. The beach dredging project here included the removal of over 417,000 cubic yards of sand from the northeast end of Sand Dollar Island. As you can see now, the results from dredging and moving all of that sand from the area have substantially opened up the waterway, allowing tides to flow freely into the lagoon. The waterway has become a vast and substantial channel in stark contrast to its almost choked state prior to the project. Additionally, a new recreational beach has been established, attracting local boaters who now enjoy sunbathing, shelling, and observing the thriving wildlife in the area. Second is to shore up the protective berm by Tiger Tail Beach. The rebuilding of that end of the island will help prevent subsequent washovers and blockage issues in the channel to the Tiger Tail Beach Lagoon during future storms. You can see how the washover from prior storms practically eliminated the barrier and moved sand all the way into the mangroves while blocking the passage of water into the Tiger Tail Lagoon. Next, the waterway leading into the Tiger Tail Lagoon was almost completely blocked and needed to be reopened to restore the flow of water into the lagoon. Finally, the past storms have also impacted the feeding locations for manatees, which use the lagoon as a natural feeding area. The blockages there caused numerous manatee strandings, endangering the lives of these mammals. Dredging and moving sand there has re-established the barrier beach and also opened up the passageway, allowing water to flow all the way from the Marco River into the Tiger Tail Lagoon. You can see how wide that waterway is now and how the water can freely flow into the Tiger Tail Lagoon. Although some may argue that we should not mess with Mother Nature, I firmly believe that it is important to take action to restore the damaged ecosystem caused by devastating storms. However, it's also crucial to ensure that our efforts minimize any additional environmental impact on the area. Neglecting to address the devastation caused by these natural disasters would have significant negative consequences, and we all have a responsibility to take action. Do you believe this is a worthwhile effort or a waste of time and money? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to be sure you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.